Disclaimer, I only have concealer under one eye and bronzer on one side of my face. I was just at uh, the mall and I needed new concealer and I wanted new bronzer, so I swatched it. So yeah, I just took a photo and realized how awkward it looks. But also that's basically me. So my options are to wash my face or to add concealer to the other eye and I don't really feel like doing either of those, so. You guys have to deal with me having one light under eye and one bronzed cheekbone. How you doing? Anyway, enjoy the video, guys. That was random, I know. Bye. Also, I have lipstick on my finger. I'm just a mess today. Bye, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I have another food video for you today. I know, I know. Uh, I promise workout footage is coming. I, I do have some. It's just I tend to do the same workouts over and over, and um, I don't want to bore you guys, uh, but I do actually have some like pretty cool workout stuff that I want to uh, share with you guys really soon. But the reality is food is life, and also food is probably one of the hardest parts about prep for me. Um, I have no problem training. Uh, even on my low days, I can always like force myself through, but it's it's the cravings, it's the hunger that is the issue. And I did say that I was going to share a lot more food related videos with you guys. And you all seem to be pretty receptive and wanting um, to see recipes and some of the things that I'm doing. So this video, I'm going to show you uh, two different ways to make voluminous breakfasts. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy them. I'm enjoying a bowl full right now, actually. Look how beautiful that looks. It is my take on zotes. So that's zucchini oats. I actually use cream of rice, so I guess zeiss. Huh, yeah, I'm cool. Um, but honestly, guys, this has been a game changer for me. I've had it every day since I discovered it, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, breakfast two different ways. Um, let's get right to the video. Honestly, try it, guys. It's delicious, I promise. Um, you're gonna love it and great way to get a lot of food in your belly for a low amount of calories sounds kind of gross tastes delicious trust me oh and actually before we cut to the video of me making it um, check-in pictures uh, I'm now 12 weeks out uh, from nationals everything is the same for right now uh, obviously um, waiting for check-in from Evan to see if anything changes but for right now everything is the same as last week uh, 40 minutes of cardio six days a week uh, one day a week plyos and 30 minutes of cardio and my strength training this is actually a deload week but this past week was deload um, and I needed it because my poor little body was like mm, girl and my right knee has been a little iffy but I feel really good um, so yeah check out well check in pictures uh, two breakfasts, voluminous breakfasts, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy the video. Bye. Actually, wait, what am I doing? Bye. You're going to want to start by grating your zucchini. I grate it on the smallest setting so that it's very fine. Um, you want it to be able to cook up in your oats or cream of rice once you cook them. And yeah, like let's be let's be real here. Let's not be wasting any of this zucchini. I grated about a hundred grams. So then you're just going to measure out your cream of rice. For this recipe, I used. Uh, 20 grams. Uh, later in the video I accidentally say 25, but there's only 20 grams of cream of rice here. So you're just going to make it like normal. So um, for 20 grams, I think I added about a half cup, maybe a little bit more of water, and then microwaved it for about a minute and a half. Oh yeah, stir it up so it's not lumpy when it cooks. Trust me on that one. So just put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half, like I said. And then once it comes out, stir that up, make sure there are no lumps, and then add in your finely chopped up or grated zucchini. Um, another thing you could do is put it in a food processor or a blender to blend it down fine. 
but I find that just adding it um, finely grated is okay as well. And you're going to want to stir it up really well, um, just, just so it's sort of incorporated. Um, I find that, and I've made this many times since then, um, having the cream of rice and the zucchini kind of married together, if you will, helps it cook very evenly. And yes, it looks very green and it looks gross. I, I'm well aware. Trust me, I was gagging as I made this. Um, but don't be alarmed. It gets great. I add a little extra water just to help it blend. But don't add too much because as the um, zucchini cooks down, it gets watery. I added in, uh, you only saw a little bit, but I added in 120 grams of um, egg whites. And then again, you want to stir it up again really well so that the egg whites don't settle on the top or the bottom. It's incorporated. Um, keep an eye on it when you put it in the microwave because, yeah, it gets uh, gets fluffy and mine exploded in the microwave, but that's okay. Um, also, I forgot to mention that after you put just the zucchini in with the rice, you want to actually put that in the microwave for two minutes, then take out, add the egg whites for another two minutes and then cook it till it's fluffy and keep an eye on it. Here I'm adding one tablespoon of powdered peanut butter with a tablespoon of water. And I added the, um, I added the water in it and didn't um, just add the powder to the cream of rice because I find that the uh, powder will actually get clumpy as it mixes with the hot oats. So just do that. Um, Obviously, it's your personal preference. You can do whatever you want. You don't even have to add powdered peanut butter. Uh, you can add whatever flavorings you want. I really like cream of rice with peanut butter, so I added a little bit of powdered peanut butter, about an eighth of a cup of Walden's, which, as you know, is a uh, calorie-free sweetener. Um, just mix it all together, and then you could eat it just like this. I personally decided to add some uh, peanut butter, so I added one tablespoon of uh, peanut butter and then 75 grams of freshly chopped strawberries. And again, if your macros don't allow, omit the strawberries, but I really love the combination of strawberries with the peanut butter in my cream of rice. And now, the moment of truth. Oh great, I didn't wipe my bowl off, let's just... Oh look, that never happened. Um, the bowl's actually pretty hot still. Anyway, so moment of truth, I'm gonna taste it now and see if my creation is edible. Just kidding, of course it is, otherwise you guys wouldn't be seeing this video. It's gonna burn my mouth. Guys, I don't understand. There's a whole friggin' zucchini in this. Look how big the bowl is. It's pretty much full. All I used for like the real carbs were 25 grams of cream of rice. For 25 grams of cream of rice, I have this huge bowl of food. Um, and obviously, I, I'm pretty sure if you didn't add a little bit of sweetener or flavor, you would be able to taste the slight green taste from the zucchini. I can't right now in this, because um, I didn't want to, obviously. So good. 10 out of 10. Like, 10 out of 10. Volume, breakfast. Um, obviously, you can change the macros of what go in, so the, um, the amounts of what are in this bowl to fit your macros. Um, but if you're pretty low on the poverty macro scale, but you want a big bowl of food, like myself, because you don't do mini meals, I would highly recommend this. So good. Um, the macros for this entire meal, including the peanut butter and the strawberries are. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Obviously you could add protein powder or more egg whites if you wanted it to be higher protein, um, but uh, I have no problem hitting my protein throughout the rest of the day. So. Um, this is just a great start. I'm gonna eat all of this. It's so friggin good. Um, yeah, I'm stunned honestly. Uh, so I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna go to the gym, and I will talk to you guys later, but I honestly urge you to try this, whether you're in prep or not. It's so good. 
Hey guys, so I showed you the zucchini with uh, cream of rice, but I just got back from the gym and I decided to try another alternative, which is oats with uh, riced cauliflower, which I've actually done before. Um, I didn't show you the beginning part of it, but essentially all I used was 20 grams of oats. I microwaved with water and then I took out and I then added in 100 grams of cooked riced cauliflower and I cooked that for two minutes with a little bit more added water and then I took it out again, added 100 grams of um, egg whites and then I just put it back in the microwave for three minutes so it should be done. So basically I used the same method that I did with the cream of rice but this time I used cauliflower and uh, oats. <laughs> wow. Anyways, I'm going to show you the rest, how I dress it up or how I'm going to dress it up and I'll let you know how that turns out, okay? Awesome, let's get to it. Oh. By the way, I just used regular uh, quick oats and what I used was the steam in the bag. There's a hole so I don't really want to flip it over, but the steam in the bag uh, cauliflower. So if I used a food processor, I could have made it even smaller, but I steamed it extra good so it's pretty soft. So then here's what you're left with. Again, a large bowl. So we're just going to stir this up and you can see it looks just like, um, let me just zoom in here a little bit so you can tell. It basically just looks like oatmeal texture. I mean like a nice thick oatmeal, which is how I like it. So what I've decided to do to dress it up is, of course, sweetener. Um, I don't really measure Walden's, but approximately a quarter of a cup of Walden's. And then this is 10 grams of cocoa that I added water to. And I added the water because I'm pretty sure it would clump up if I just added it to the hot oats. Essentially, I want chocolate uh, oats. Chocolate protein powder would probably work as well. But again, uh, I don't really need to add the added protein because I have no problem hitting my protein macros. I mean, you know, I don't want to add too much in here. Obviously on a day where I'm having trouble, I could always add extra egg whites or protein. So I'm just going to stir this up. And for those of you who are disgusted by random concoctions of food, look away. I apologize. But for those of you who are on the quest to find the best macro-friendly meal, you come to the right place. Obviously, you don't have to make yours chocolate, but that's what I'm craving. And I would say sweeten to taste. Feel free to use stevia as well, um, more or less Walden's. You know the drill. I'm going to let this cool before I like have at it, but I will actually just have a taste. And it looks like this. Oh my god, guys. Ooh, we're zoomed in. Let's not... Nope. Let's not zoom in on my face, shall we? If you like chocolate oats, or again, you don't even have to make it chocolate, it's really good. I decided to use the oats with the cauliflower because cream of rice is very smooth, which is why I use zucchini because it cooks very, very smoothly. But the cauliflower, and actually it's fine. You can't tell the difference and that's what I thought. There's no difference to me between the bite of the oat versus the bite of the, um, like the chew texture of a of, um, cauliflower. It's very smooth. You don't taste the cauliflower. All I've done is made what would have been a very small amount of oats into a very large amount of oats. Um, and this is the ultimate breakfast hack. I actually probably will have be having this for dinner. But point being, great macros, um, but like very filling. So uh, I'll put the macros on the screen for everything, including uh, the cocoa. Um, obviously, you know, you could add um, protein powder, like I said, you could add peanut butter, you could add fruit, you could add whatever you want. This is just how I've decided to make it. Um, but uh, macros are on point with this. So yeah, uh, that's two breakfast ideas, two high protein, high volume breakfast ideas 
and uh, hopefully you guys try them out. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe, well, these recipes. Um, the biggest one is the Zeiss, the zucchini and the cream of rice. That is my go-to. I have it every single day. But for those of you who maybe don't want to add the cream of rice or don't want to do cream of rice or don't want to do zucchini, the cauliflower is an awesome, awesome substitute. Um, I've even seen some recipes where people don't even use oats. I don't know that I'd go that far, um, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do and you got those poverty macros, yo. Honestly, guys, try it out, and as I've said countless times, make it your own. You don't have to just use peanut butter or strawberries or do the ratios that I do. I basically do what I like and how it's been working. So, um, you know, but if you want to use a little less um, zucchini because you don't need to, you just want to add a little because you have more carbs, do that. If you don't like strawberries, you want to add mango, do that. Like, I'm not saying this is the only recipe. I'm basically this the base to make the um, the, the cauliflower oats or the zotes or whatever, uh, this is how I'm choosing to do it. It's really good, I promise you. Um, so please give it a try because if you are struggling to feel full, I got you. I had a lot of fun making this video, guys. So um, if you're new and you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, and like I said, I love to hear from you guys. If you have suggestions, if you have comments, if you have questions, please write them below. Um, also, my email is in the description box below. So if you uh, want to talk to me personally, not leave a comment, reach out to me that way or on my social media, I'm here for you. I'm gonna go eat, go to the gym. It's a great day. Have an amazing, amazing day. And I can't wait to talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.